Tom, John at Clemens Boats here. Um, today we're going to go through the new 17 Montauk. This is a sold boat. I'll go over what options this has and other options that are available. Um, I guess we'll start towards the back of the boat. This one has the 115 Mercury on it. Um, in 2018 they redesigned it so that you could now put a higher horsepower than 90. It used to always have a 90. A um, little bit heavier, wider boat now, so you get you can get the 115, and pretty much all of them, I think all of them that we've sold since, everyone's gone with the 115. It gives you a nicer speed, a better hole shot. You're reaching speeds. The performance data says 46 mile per hour top end. I have seen that with a real light load. Uh, I, I own one of these, a 2019, and I typically see 44 with the boat full of all the equipment you're going to put in it. The couple options on this boat in particular, this one has the tow bar, that is an option. It's obviously great for water sports, it's also a great grab handle if you're at the beach or something climbing back up into the boat. Some people have gone with that option just because it works as a great uh, grab handle. You can get it with or without these F seats, you can see it over on this side. Just... They do remove obviously, I just lifted one up. They also lock into place, so you can tow without removing it, or if you feel better about it, you can just lift it up and slide them right out. The backrests are removable also. I'll pop that out, I'll show you on this side. Just a couple posts that go into these rod holders, so if you are fishing, obviously you can pull those out and take advantage of your rod holders that day instead of the seats. <clears throat> Move some of this out of the way. To the helm seat now can get you can get this two different ways you can get storage or you can get a live well under here because they now have a built-in fuel tank that is below the deck used to always be a couple portable tanks that fit in here so now you get a 25 gallon tank right below the seat so you, you get this big storage area now or if you are a fisherman that likes using a live well that's that would be your live well option also Helm seat, this is the standard and only seat in it. It's got four positions that you can put it. I run mine in this position a lot. I like to stand, lean on it. Um, I'm just more comfortable standing when I'm running the boat. Most people are. Or you can lift it back and you've got a nice comfortable seat too. You can get, uh, you can get no electronics. They offer a 7-inch Raymarine, which is what this one is. They offer a 9-inch as well. Everyone has different opinions on that. Um, you can order it in with nothing. If you have a preference on a different brand than Raymarine 2, we can install those here, whatever you like. The stereo is an option. This one does not have it. They added a couple speakers this year. If you do get the stereo, it used to be one speaker on either side of the console here, so two total. Now you get those two plus two more back here. As long as you don't get the full aft bench seat option, which is not a, a popular option at all. It just takes up a lot of room. Since we're back here too, I didn't show this. There's storage back here. I owned my boat for a year before I ever opened these. I just assumed it was bilge access, but there's actually nice storage on both sides that I found out about. And One then, thing you can never have enough of, especially <laughs> on a 17 footer. Well, yeah. Every little bit counts. Right. This one has the bimini top. You can get a couple different canvas options. Uh, they also have, it's in storage here somewhere, what they call the combination helm seat and leaning post cover, which goes over the windshield here, uh, bungees onto these knobs, over, back, and behind the helm seat. That is, that's the most popular cover uh, that uh, people get. The nice thing about that is, if you get the bow cushion option, you can take these off when you're not using the boat, put them in here under the canvas cover so they're nice and protected. So since I'm up here now, talking about that, I'll show you the storage areas. They did a real nice thing when they redesigned it and now offer two separate compartments up here. They used to strictly offer one and it was your anchor locker uh, with your anchor line that you really couldn't put anything else in because if you use your anchor, the anchor line gets wet, it stays wet for a long time. 
Uh, so you don't want to throw life jackets, or fenders, lines, things like that in there with it. So now they separated them. And you have this whole area back here as well that's really good for, for fenders, lines, you name whatever works for you. But um, I've found that to be a, pretty much the best spot for, to stick fenders. And actually this, this anchor locker um, is well known in the Whaler engineering staff to be the anchor locker that put the most engineering hours into ever. It's specifically designed for a Fortress FX7 anchor if it's in there perfect. And if you buy one of them, we get that anchor for you. That's a major upgrade on uh, this, the new Design 17 Montauk from the old one. Seems small, but a major upgrade. And before we forget, um, we are, obviously inventory is short throughout the country. We've sold a lot of these already. Um, it's a little bit limited, so if you are interested in one, if you want to jump at it sooner than later in hopes to have a boat for this summer. We're going to be limited to a few for the rest of the season. That's it. The um, couple different op ways to get this cooler seat here. You can get it as a standalone option, which would come with these rod holders. That's how this boat came in. The rod holders, the backrest cushion, the cooler, and this cushion or it comes as part of the fishing package as well. You get all that, plus you get a compass. And then on this side, in this area here, there would be two, trackle, two tackle drawers um, that would come as part of that. What have I missed on this? Oh, rail options. This one has the split bow rail, which seems to be the most popular because it makes it easy to tie off your dock line or bring in your anchor so you're not dragging the anchor across the rail and marking that up. Or if you don't do that much, you can get a full bow rail without the separation in the center. You can get no rail at all. Some people might want to put a trolling motor on it. So you can get a trolling motor panel here. And then you, without the rail, you got a nice platform to mount a trolling motor on. And the final rail option is the low profile rails which mount down this side. Mount down here if you just want if you if you don't like the looks of the rail or you're getting the trolling motor you can just have something down here to hold on to if you're riding up in any of these cushions and then you get them back here as well down along this panel the high rails are standard with the full bow rail or the split bow rail and Another nice thing about that bow rail is, at least that I use a lot, is jumping on and off the trailer uh, when you're launching the boat by yourself. Mm -hmm. And being that this is a whaler and very high quality, those rails are all welded and they're actually mounted into phenolic. So I'm a big guy at 6'2", 260. I can lean on that all I want and it doesn't move. So you can jump right on through, through from the bow of the boat on the beach off the trailer too, which is really nice. Yeah, that's a good point. I do it at the ramp all the time. I'll lean over here reach down, grab the handle, crank it up tight, and without with the full bow rail that does make that more challenging. The, the Montauks are all standard with a trailer. This one has the swing tongue with it and it has brakes now. The old 17 Montauk trailers did not have brakes because they were a little bit lighter and since they were five inches uh, more narrow. This one's seven feet three inches wide and weighs about uh, almost 2,300 pounds. So it requires brakes now. Um, what else? If you guys have never seen one of these in person, it's hard to appreciate how much room is in this boat for a 17. The old 17 Montauk had room. This one has a ton of room with these narrower gunnels. All that floor space gets created right in the inside of the boat and a straight transom. So if you've never seen one of these new models in person, there's a ton of room. Um, obviously super high quality. Uh, John, you want to talk about some of the things that makes a whaler in particular a whaler, not necessarily just a Montauk, but the whole line through why we got some time here? Yeah, sure. Um, I think a lot of people are familiar with the build construction on them with the, uh, the foam process. The foam is injected into these and it spreads throughout the hull, has a nice chemical reaction that bonds it all as basically one solid piece. The foam goes all the way to, to the top of the gunnel. It is you hear that they're unsinkable. They truly are unsinkable. Um, they, they had one of these. They ran around at boat shows. We've seen them 
cut in half live and then driven around. Um, the and Everything you see on the boat that's shiny, let's say, that is all stainless steel. It is not uh, chrome. So that really just is great for longevity. Uh, they have a 10 year haul warranty. We have had, I don't know if we've had any issues, maybe some cosmetic issues with them a little bit here and there, but very few warranty claims on a whaler haul. Never, never seen a whaler haul claim before. So. Zero structural. The other thing that's great about these boats, especially these right now uh, in the smaller size, is the resale value on Whaler. Um, the resale value is unheard of. If you go shop for used ones, you're going to see sometimes, as like right now, uh, some used ones are actually more expensive than new ones um, because the market's so hot and availability is so low. So that's, that's a, uh, a real thing. You want to always look at cost of ownership when you're buying a boat. You don't want to think about selling or trading the boat right when you buy it. But the fact of the matter is, at the end of the day, you're saving money by buying a whaler at the end of the day. Yeah, we just had a, a good 2018 here on Brokers. No, it was a 19. Um, it did not last long at all. It's got a deal on it right now and got darn close to what they paid for it. So that's a, that's a good point. The, the resale, especially right now, it's just so hard to find inventory. Uh, especially used, that uh, they're just, they're a great bang for the buck. This, this is the most import, or important, that too, uh, the most popular uh, Whaler Montauk made, but what other boats are in the Montauk line, John, while we're on here? So we've got a 15 next to us, that is a used one. Um, they make a, a 150, a 17, they make a 19 and a 21. I know we have a 21 in storage, uh, if you wanted to see one of those. We do have a couple of those on order that are available. We have a couple 19s on order that are available for sale. I don't, maybe you know if we have one of those here in storage that somebody could look at. I think we do have one. I'm pretty sure we do, so give us a call. We'll make sure of that before you head up. And my 17s always here. Like I said, this one's sold. If, it, if it, the owner wants it sooner than later, it's not here. We always have mine to look at. It's always here. And we had a couple 15s on order. This used one's here right now to look at. Maybe you want used, maybe you want new. Either way, we can show you that one as well until the new ones show up. Yep. At the end of the day, we've got a bunch of whalers here to show you. Um, a lot of boats are sold as we've been a broken record all week here talking about um, how many boats are available and what sales are like. Uh, but it's the truth. Of course, whaler makes boats 13 all the way to 42 feet. All different sizes here. Um, so uh, anything that you could you could want to see is probably here uh, and uh, can be shown with well, no trouble. And one last option I didn't point out that this one has. This one has the white rope rail with the stainless steel insert that really just dresses these up very nice. Even the white ones but on the colored hulls it really looks great. The standard is the black rope rail next to us on the uh, 150 Montauk. And since we're talking color We've got three of the color options sitting over there. They offer them in light blue, glacier green. I'm sure Jason's scrolling to them as I'm yep. talking. And tucked in between the two bigger boats is a 23 outrage with the light gray hull. And they also offer desert tan, which we don't have in here. It's a very, very light tan. Yep, lots of options, very customizable. Again, not to sound like a broken record, but if you guys are in the market for any boat, period, uh, and any whaler double period uh, let us know as soon as you can uh, we do have a bunch of slots on order we are allowing customers to take our stock slots so you can have boats for the summer because we have enough boats here we can show uh, so we're not trying to uh, keep them here uh, and we can get you out on the water this summer on most models uh, and if we can't we'll do our best to find a boat for you if we don't have a slot open hope everybody enjoyed watching we hope to see you out on the water any final thoughts there John no, if anyone has questions about it that I didn't go over, um, I, I didn't put a ton of planning into it since I own one. I just thought I'd roll through it. Um, feel free to call me anytime. Call the guys here at the store. Store number is 419-684-5365. And my cell is 419-680-0568. I always love talking about this boat. I'm kind of passionate about it, so feel free to, to reach out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying the 2021 Cleveland Boat Show.